Welcome, you boats and fans. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you keeping up with the latest and greatest on the developments. So what we've got in front of us is four days of updates, and I'm going to jump into some of the bigger updates. Uh, if you want to see all the little nitty gritty, you can always look at the release notes. So first off, as you can see here, I've got two players uh, connected. Everything I'm building is meant to be both single player and multiplayer. So as I'm uh, doing these devlogs, I basically want to prove out that things are working well uh, in multiplayer mode as well as single player mode. So bottom right is just a little viewer meant to show that everything's synchronizing and the, the left, the big screen, is to show you some of the details I've been building in. All right, first item is the conning tower. You'll see an updated mesh with a lot more details. I am refining this as I go more and more and more from all the historical photos I'm able to get a hold of. And I'm going to continue adding uh, a lot more depth and details and textures as I go along. You can see here a lot of the deck plating is missing. And again, I want to make sure I represent everything accurately. So it's going to take me some time to do that. Second item is uh, player synchronization. You could see the players are synchronizing, even though animations aren't synchronizing yet. The positions are now nice and smooth and interpolated. Same thing with the U-boat position, the dinghy position, and so on. Everything is kind of nice and smooth and uh, synchronized between all of the players in the game. We now have our Liberty ship. It's a temporary mesh, but the idea is we've got a buoyant object that is roughly a Liberty ship out there on the water. And we have one of the biggest updates, a deck gun. So any player can walk up to the deck gun, uh, click the left mouse button, and you literally take over the deck gun. And as you can see in our secondary view, uh, the rotation, alignment, everything synchronizes. And now one of the biggest updates that I built, the deck gun actually um, mimics the 88 millimeter deck gun on the Type 7s. It has a uh, 14 kilogram uh, shell that it spits out at 700 meters a second, and all of that is actually uh, calculated in the physics engine. So check this out. As you can see, everything is synchronized. The bullet you can actually see fly through the air, and when it impacts the Liberty ship, you can see it explode. And everything is nicely synchronized. So in a large open world game, you can see exactly what's happening between everybody. So this is actually pre pretty exciting because now you could actually do something in the game besides walking around and starting the diesels. I personally love starting the diesels. I could do that all day, but I know some of you may want a little bit more. So hopefully this is a good update that shows you where this is heading and you get excited for it. Soon enough, you'll be able to crack that uh, Liberty ship in half. Not yet, though. This is just to prove out the fact that we're able to hop onto a gun and shoot and synchronize it across the network. The model will be updated, texture will be updated, your firing position will be updated, all that fun stuff in due time. Okay, let's go ahead and go back in. For some of you that haven't seen just exactly how you start a diesel engine, I uh, want to kind of review the steps again. So I'm going to go down into the boat. Again, a lot of temporary here. It's fine. Rough. Once we walk into our awesome diesel room, you can see that we've got our diesel intake open. We're not uh, submerged, so that's good enough. We've got all the pressures and all the flasks. You can see currently we have no pressure in the starting air manifold. First thing we've got to do is open that up. So now we've got 29 PSI worth of air in our starting air manifold. We're going to go ahead and bump the throttle up. Engine's going to start. You can see we've got 80 RPM on the gauge here. And we used up some air. We're down to 19 PSI. Eventually you'll be able to refill it. So let's close our valve. And let's put our engine mode lever in the operate position. We've got stop, operate, reverse, and start. So once we're in the operate mode, we can now actually increase the throttle. Check that out. Boat is ready to move. Soon enough, not just yet. 
You'll have a boat that's moving, you'll be able to steer it, and then you'll be able to crack Liberty ships in half in no time. So, thanks for tuning in. That's the biggest update so far. It's out and live, so if you're on itch.io and you get the latest, you can play around with this. Please provide feedback. I appreciate any and all feedback, and a lot of the recent changes have all been based 100% on feedback I'm getting from everybody that's involved. Thanks for watching.